Billy 99. Yeah, I do the thinking. Um, I'm doing the second half of my four-part series, and really I should have just tried waiting to the end because he makes so few arguments and defends them so poorly, it's not even a challenge. So I think I'm just going to do the last part as one uh, final clip. Now, in seven minutes, all he has brought up is a pepper moth and bears becoming aquatic animals. So we'll tackle both of these because it is so easy. The pepper moth did, provi did provide that evolution can happen. Yeah, black moths did exist, but that's not what e that's not the point of evolution. Evolution, survival of the fittest, natural selection is that the strong or the most fit not always the strongest, but the most fit survive and have children. The very fact that the black moth had, had gone from near extinction to um, filling the population proves concept of point. And had cleaning not taken place, the white any white moth that did survive may have branched off completely and created its new species. But we have evidence of animals that have created um, next two are completely new species. The, nyli, the nylon eating bacteria, um, horses and donkeys share a common ancestor. How can I prove that? Because of the mule, an infertile offspring of the two. We can prove humans and monkeys share a common ancestor because of our genetic makeup, our DNA. Um, originally shared the same amount of chromosomes, and we can see where two chromosomes fused into one. Okay, next point. Can a bear ever become a whale? No. Whales are whales and bears are bears. Could bears become a, an aquatic animal? Sure. Look at the polar bear. It is adapted to swimming in the water. But can a polar bear ever, ever live life completely in the water? Perhaps. Uh, but, you know, that's really beyond my field of science, you know. An animal would eventually, if needing to stay in the water, it's not going to be, well, I'm going to choose to be a whale today. No! It takes millions of years, several bears giving birth to bears that are a little bit more fit to be in the water. Eventually, those bears will be more fit for the water than for land. It's not that complicated. I think your problem is that you still believe... Animals evolve the same way as Pokemon do. You get them in the right environment, you level them up, and then they have a, then they become a whale. No, that's not how it works. You know, it's sad, but this is the best that a creationist can come up with. Peace. Oh, by the way, you win an internet.